Hey there in YouTube land, and for everybody that uh, participated in and watched my Q&A video last night, thanks a lot. And for people that asked me why I made such a long video, I apologize in advance for the length of this video. Uh, I was at, one of the questions I was asked was, could I show or would I in the future be showing my complete collection overview? Well, to show my complete collection, like a lot of people on here, it would take many, many videos. So, um... I'm probably going to do that, but uh, here's part one. I'm going to start with showing off just the first couple of shelves, really, of uh, usually my unseen video shelf. I have shelves you know, all around here and uh, out in my hallway, where right now it's pretty much freezing. I expect to see a nook of the north there anytime right now. I, uh, I have a shelf there, like a little shelf that I put a lot of stuff on. And I brought some of the stuff in there the, the other day to show you guys my uh, uncompleted TV, TV series collection. So uh, I thought we'd go from that and go on with those and kind of show some stuff that I usually don't highlight or you only have seen if you've been watching my channel for like a few years and you probably saw them when I got them in the first place. So uh, just so you know. It's going to be insane. So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to try to keep the length that I talk with each one down because, yeah. Anyway, first up is, I bought this one at Walmart when you're during uh, one of their Black Friday sales. And it was the complete first season to All of Lucy. At the time, I was going to grab all seasons of All of Lucy. I do love the show. Uh, this was seven discs, 35 episodes. Uh, cool, cool features on here. And had a lot of fun watching the episodes, but for some reason or another, I just have not yet picked up the rest of Isle of Lucy. Is it because I don't like the show? No, actually, I really do like the show, so uh, I'll get on that down the road. But I have a lot of stuff that I'm collecting, so. Uh. Next up, I got a couple editions of this one here. It's one of my favorite movies, and it's definitely one of my favorite uh, John Carpenter films. I like this uh, edition. I, uh, I have the, of course, the Blu-ray from Arrow Video. Big Trouble in Little China. And who can have too many versions of Big Trouble in Little China? If a new 4K Blu-ray restoration of this came out next year with a bunch of new features, I would also buy that again because it rocks. It's hard to believe that Kurt Russell's character of Jack Burton was actually not meant as the main character. It was actually the Chinese guy that's the main uh, guy in this movie. But, uh... Jack Burton shines. I kind of want to see another Big Trouble movie done, but I kind of don't because this one is so unique that as much as I would like to see the Farther Adventures of Jack Burton, you know, sometimes when you get what you wish for, it turns out to be not so good. <clears throat> Next up is one that I uh, picked up. I really do like these. And I want the rest of these, actually. Um, I love Saturday Night Live. I'm a really big fan of the show. Uh, and one of the things that made it for me, because I thought SCTV, this a Canadian series, like kind of similar to Saturday Night Live, had a better like comedy writing at the time to it. But Saturday Night Live really shone in a lot of the musical performances that they had. So here is Saturday Night Live, 25 Years of Music Volume 2. Uh, Tina Turner, Better Be Good to Me, James Brown, I Got You, I Feel Good, Queen, Crazy Little Thing I Love, Randy Newman, I Love L.A., the Go-Go's, We Got the Beat. I was totally in love with the Go-Go's, especially Blend and uh, Rick James, Super Freak, because cocaine is a hell of a drug. Uh, Talking Heads, Take Me to the River, Spinal Tap, Big Bottom. John Mellencamp, John Kruger Mellencamp, from when I first started watching him. Pink Houses, and Duran Duran's Hungry Like the Wolf. Including some extra comedy sketches as well, so very cool stuff. Next up is a series that both me and my better half like, and it is the complete series. Both seasons of uh, The Rat Patrol. Really, really cool kind of like a uh, action show. It stars, well, you know what I remember? Look at this guy right here. So if you're a fan of Young and the Restless, and just put a mustache on him and age him a few years, and yes, you're right, that is Eric Braden, who uh, plays Victor Newman on Young and the Restless. But this is where he got to start at. He's playing, you know, back then he went by his, like, actual name, and, uh, well, he was kind of, uh, he was the baddie. He was the Nazi guy. Because this is set in World War II, and uh, Rap Troll, Christopher George, awesome stuff. Both seasons. 
I've only ever managed to find the first season of the show, and maybe there is only the first season out. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, we watched uh, some of this, and this is a really cool show, and this definitely, definitely is my bag. Uh, Beretta, season one. Robert Blake. Yeah, I know Robert Blake went a little strange on us, but uh, man, this was a really great show. I remember watching this, and I was like watching this in reruns because I was way too young to watch this when it first came out. I think it came out like 72 or 70, something like that. Anyway, when did this come out? Anybody know? I can't remember. Hmm. A pro research. It pays to do it. <clears throat> Next up is the uh, this DVD set that I bought for like, I think it was two bucks. I went to like a, uh, a place and I was buying some movies from this guy for like a couple bucks each. And uh, this was there among them. And I uh, asked him, I said, well, how much for the set? And he said, oh, everything's the same. And it was uh, Ramble, the complete collector set. I would like to upgrade this one to Blu-ray, though I would not get rid of this one because I really like this. It's pretty snazzy looking. Uh, six discs. We got First Blood, Ultimate Edition, Ramble, First Blood Part 2, Ramble 3, Ultimate Edition, Ramble Special Edition, Disc 1, Ramble Special Edition, Disc 2, and a special bonus features disc. So, disc. so <laughs> a lot of good stuff. Uh... Rambo, a man's man. If you like smart writing, you're probably going to like this show. Aaron Sorkin wrote this one. Unfortunately, it only lasted for one season. Uh, two shows came out at the same time. Uh, one was, my God, that cat just scared 10 years off of my life. <clears throat> was this one here, and another one was one that lasted much, much longer, called 30 Rock. But this was the other one. Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. Love this show. Another short-lived TV series with a, uh, a name of a bigger, a longer-running TV show was Law and Order Los Angeles. It just never caught on, and it did have some great cast. We got, like, uh, Alfred Molina. I think it's Terrence Howard there. Uh, what else do we have in this one here? Ski Allrich is in this one. Uh, uh, even Bob Saget. Bob Saget himself did a co-starring role in one episode of this. When you got Bob Saget, you know it should be gold. Here's one that my better half had before me, which is really kind of strange because it actually seems like something that I would watch more than her. But, uh, Juno. How does she? So she bought it and never watched it. <laughs> I, however, have seen Juno and I think that was a good movie. Uh, I know that, uh, oh god, what's her name again? Writer. She would go on to do uh, Diablo Cody. Yeah, she would go on to do uh, the new Evil Dead film. Uh, she wrote this, and a lot of people like rag on her, but I, I really like Diablo Cody's writing. I think she does a really good job. And J.K. Simmons in this is actually really good. I'm a big fan of actually J.K. Simmons. Way back from the Oz days. Way before he did J. Jonah Jameson, which he is the perfect J. Jonah Jameson. I will say what you will about the other to about the Tobey Maguire movies and the other casting. J. Jonah Jameson was spot on. If they're going to reboot that again, just get him back, because there's no one else to do the role like the way he did it. Uh, another cool, cool, cool film with a uh, black exploitation film is Cooley High, uh, one that I really like. Of course, it has uh, the guy from uh, Welcome Back, Cotter, Mr. Carter. My favorite book, I read the Welcome Back, Cotter books, like the novelizations of the episodes, and there was one where they take over the, uh, the newspaper. And he writes the sports section, and basically, he describes the uh, the basketball game. Except he describes just him in the basketball game. If you ever get a chance to read it? I know, silly or not, it's really really fun. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. Here's one I never saw, but I got it for really cheap, and the cover was shiny. We went down to buy uh, some DVDs to uh, from this from this guy. I ended up getting Tour of Duty there, the complete collection for like really cheap. It's one of my pride. Uh, one of my prized possessions because it's it is very hard to get uh, or the last time I checked it was but uh, this one here not so hard to get but uh, this slip cover made me want to get it and uh, I'll show you Aspa is the tribe is this any good no I'm asking you is this any good I haven't watched it yet but I have looked at the cover several times so uh, I think that lets me criticize the film Let's see, it's got Corey Feldman in it, 
Angus Sutherland, Autumn Reeser, and Tad Hilgen Bren 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 What the hell is that? <clears throat> Had Ted Hilkenbrink. Hilkenbrink. There we go with that. Next up is the. Well, I guess this was my first edition I had of this movie. I do have it on Blu ray and Steelbook now. But uh, when I wanted to see it, I went to Blockbuster and I picked myself up in Glorious Bastards. Next up is another fave film of mine. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Coen Brothers. Uh, I don't like everything they do, but I do like especially this. Blood Simple. Uh, Blood Simple is a really good film. Uh, Francis McDormand in a uh, kind of a film fatale role. Uh, femme fatale role. Really good movie. Uh, Dan Hedia, just incredible cast. John Getz. If you, ever, if you haven't seen Blood Simple, really check it out. It's a really good film. Okay, uh, this is my better house. Uh, I do love this movie, actually. I think this one come from, came from Japan, or more than likely my dad got it from Japan. Serenity. It's got that like shiny. Have you ever seen these like these shinyish covers like that are really different than like what you're used to seeing? And you look at it, and it's got like DTS Collector Series Nine stuff on it. Yeah, that means it came from Japan. So, uh, next up is one of my better half's all-time favorite movies ever. It stars Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman, and Nicole Kidman is one of my favorite actresses, actually. And it is Practical Magic. Just a magical little film, and you know what? I gotta agree, this is a really, really good, well-done film. As far as remakes go, and like, redoes of, redoes of, blah, The Departed. Uh, we had the one disc, disc edition, and uh, we actually bought some movies for uh, to sell once, basically, because I was getting rid of some old films. So uh, I took a uh, one on Kijiji, and I wanted to fill up like the rest of the table and stuff like that. So I grabbed, a, I bought like a box, a case of movies, and uh, one of them there had the uh, the two disc departed. I only had the one disc before, and I really do like this movie. So uh, uh, Scorsese, man, you rule. <clears throat> Here's another favorite from my better half. I think she had another copy of this before. This one's not open, but trust me, she has seen this movie a lot of times. And it's Cabaret. And of course, we got Liza Minnelli, uh, Judy Garland's daughter. And uh, of course, the amazing Joel Grey, who uh, I'm a really big fan of. And you know that if you watch my uh, video about uh, Rima Williams. I'm just going to grab some of those other movies over there. There's quite a few more to go through. Next up is a WWE movie, and I unabashedly like this movie. I think it's a really fun film. It's The Condemned with uh, Steve Austin. It's pretty much the most dangerous game. Just updated. It's got Steve Austin, Vinnie Jones. You know, they're all on the island. They're all trying to, like, live as running man meets most dangerous game. It's that, that type of thing. So, very cool. Here's one that means a lot to me because, basically, when my mom had a uh, corner store called Rose Convenience, it uh we I went and got a bunch of VHS. Now VHS rented really well at the time. Unfortunately, we got them from a guy, and he didn't have any of the cases. So basically, what we had was a bunch of VHS that we picked up, which we did get for a good price. So people would come in, and I would like do I watched I'd watch everyone in the movies, and get descriptions of the films basically, so people would know what they're renting and like what category it was in. So one of them was this one here, Harold Robbins, The Betsy. And I'm not sure why I like this movie. Uh, there was nudity, so I was young, and I put that was probably one of the reasons. But uh, <clears throat> it's just, it has a great cast. I mean, Laurence Olivier, Robert Duvall, Catherine Ross, Tommy Lee Jones, Jane Alexander, uh, Leslie Ann Downs. Uh, just an incredible cast. It's uh, kind of a period piece. This is definitely my better half. It's Ocean's Twelve. Uh, yeah. I don't have much to say about that one. I'm not a big fan. Uh, Ocean's 12. Did you like Ocean's 12? She liked all the Ocean's movies. This is one of my favorite comedies of all time. Fish Called Wanda. Just uh, a really good film. John Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Kline, and Michael Palin. 
Uh, one of the cool things about it, and uh, it kind of bothered me when I first saw it, was there is a stutter, like a really bad stutter. And of course, if you've watched my channel, then you know that I was a really bad stutterer. And I had to learn how to talk over again, kind of really, when I was in, my, in grade four. So, uh, King's Speech is also another special movie, which I do not own, but should. Ah, Magic Cano, the complete series. How's this one? Have we watched it? So, we bought a blockbuster and have yet to watch Magic Cano. This is what happens when you buy a lot of movies and you work. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Boondock Saints. I got this one in a few different uh, formats. Uh, but Boondock Saints is a really good movie. I really like this one. Did you like the sequel? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It's not that it's original, but you know. What is? Uh, Stargate Arc of Truth. Uh, we have the complete Stargate SD-1 original series. I didn't bring that in here because big box sets. But uh, we have the complete series of that. We have the complete series of Stargate Atlantis. We just need the complete series of the Superior Show. Stargate Universe. She's not a fan. I really like Stargate Universe. If you're a fan of Stargate Universe, say so down below. Show the love. Next up was a 12 movie western pack that I got. And uh, it's Echo Bridge, so call to be so so. And they're all, okay, I'll put on one on top of one another. Um, a lot, but a lot of these, I paid $5 for this. And some of these movies I had on VHS back in the day. And I paid like $25 per movie for this stuff. So it was amazing to get this stuff. And trust me, the quality I got was way lesser quality than stuff here. Masker Time is on this one here. Uh, Sertan Santana Killed Them All. We got uh, one of the many, uh, you know, Death Rides Horse, God's Gone, stuff like that. But Masker Time and Grand Duel were two of the ones I really wanted to see on this one. Uh, David Fincher is a director that uh, gets a lot of credit, and deservedly so. He's a really good director. A lot of people can pick up their favorite David Fincher movie, they go for Seven and stuff like that. But for me, it's a little bit more of a a closer, more human touch to it, and it's uh, you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. No, that's not tell of the film, but it's not an awesome cover. It's uh, the social network. I guess really do like that movie because you can't have enough cheese, especially if you're me. If you watch my channel, you know all of the cheesy stuff. Starship Troopers, one, two, and three. Uh, yeah, the fun stuff. They are each on their own disc, which was really cool, and uh. I guess they got features. Eastern Promises. We bought this one from uh, yeah, Blockbuster back in the day. I don't remember it really well now. I know it's by the same people that did History of Violence. See, it's right up there. If I had forgotten it, it tells me right away. But uh, I like Viggo Mortensen. He's a good actor. Uh, it's directed by Cronenberg, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so uh, I can't tell you much about it. Here's one I'm really proud to have, because uh, I don't see it around very often. And I'm sure that one of these days, like Shout Factory or Arrow, are going to release this film. And it's uh, Streets of Fire. Uh, Michael Pear, uh, Diane Lane, William Dafoe. It's got a great soundtrack on it as well. This is just a really cool film. Have you seen this one yet? you got to see this. It's, you'll love it. You'll love it. Uh, it's just a great film. If you haven't seen it, it's really worth checking out. Really good film. This one is also my better house, but I would have bought it anyway because it you know, it's just fun, cheesy stuff. Transformers. Is this a good movie? Uh, it's a film. It's Michael Bay. Big explosions, robots. It's Michael Bay rapes your childhood for profit. But, no, actually, I don't mind Michael Bay. Actually, I think those are just fun little films. Are they, uh, are they good? Well, the first Transformers, well, it wasn't too bad. It's what it was. Megan Fox is in it, looking your best, so yes, I love that. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, The Collection. I'm a big Michelle Pfeiffer fan. I uh, bought this one for, well, they had four movies on it. Fabulous Baker Boys I didn't have. Love Field I definitely didn't have. I'd never seen at that point. Uh, Married to the Mob, of course, and The Russia House. I really wanted The Russia House. Uh, I know that seems like the least of the ones you're going to want on this one, but I, I, I kind of did. kind of got into it. So, oh my God. It is totally going to fall. Yeah, there's more. So, Dragon Dynasty. Uh, 
I'd like to have more of these, actually. I don't have a lot. But uh, The Protector, love this movie. Just really, really dug this thing. God, how many copies of this movie do I have? I think I gave one to Matthew. I gave I sold one. I gave one away. Uh, Spaceballs. Uh, apparently, I like Spaceballs, or I keep forgetting that I have it and buying it over again. If I ever go out and do an out and, out, out and about video, and I pick up this movie to buy again, let me know. Facebook me or something, because I do not need another copy of Spaceballs. Once Upon a Time in the West. I know this is a really good edition out, uh, now, but I love this movie. Uh, this was the one, I think, was written partially by Dario Argento. Uh, of course, it's Sergio Leone. It is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece of a film. And if you've never seen Once Upon a Time in the West, you really owe it to yourself to see it. Henry Fonda is amazing in this movie. Henry Fonda, Jason Robards, Charles Bronson, Cla Claudia Card Cardinal, but especially uh, Henry Fonda. He just really, really does an amazing job. Next up is uh, one of the favorite of my better half. And I found out about this film through her. And I grew a great love of the film, actually. And it's the uh, Trip, the Triplets de Belleville. Yeah. Uh, the Trips of Belleville. So uh, if you haven't seen it, you really, really should. It's amazing animation and uh, just incredible film. It's the two-disc edition. Uh, some neat special features on here. Uh, selected scene commentaries, cartoon, according to Sylvian Chema. Uh, just some great stuff. And I do have the uh, big Blu-ray edition, big giant box set now but uh before I did I had Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory the original edition I kind of think this is the one that my better half had got before me but uh it's all one movie collection so Spider-Man disc one and two I actually really do like this one there's some flaws but come on it's Spider-Man it was the first time you're going, everybody thought they were never going to see Spider-Man out there, and then you see him, and then bam. This one recently came out in Blu-ray, and if there's enough features on it, I'll definitely want to upgrade down the road, because it is a really, really good film by um, a Studio Ghibli, I think. Is this one? Did, did this one? Hi, I'm Mrs. Zaki, right? Miyazaki, yes. Uh, Princess Mo... Okay, I get this right. One more. Yeah, see? She's so good with these pronunciations. One... Lord knows what I ever pronounced things while she was gone for that month. Uh, I've probably insulted many, many people in films. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth, a great film. Love this movie. Uh, I'd have loved this slipcover. This is a really cool slipcover. So even if I upgrade this to Blu-ray, I will keep this for this really neat slipcover. Yeah. Gotta love it. I had to go to the UK to get this one. I go to the UK. But my dad got this one uh, from the UK. He actually got like three copies of it. Uh, by accident, really. And it's a classic Canon film. Gotta love Canon. If you've seen the documentary, you know. Cyborg. Van Damme. Uh, Albert Pion. Directed film. And uh, Albert Pion, of course, directed the classic film that I want. And I keep hitting it. My better have to get me. But she never does. The uh, Captain America film. That's on Blu-ray. From Shed Factory. For twelve ninety nine at Target. One of these days should catch up. I just keep saying. Next up is the Price Lee Horror Collection. Uh, yes, it's a cheapie from Popflix, but it's really cool. Uh, House on Haunted Hill, Last Man on Earth, The Bat, Horror Express, Count Dracula and His Vampire Brides, and Circus of Fear. So, cool films. My better half got that one for me. Here's one that I. I got and I really want to watch and I haven't seen it. I think I've seen like the, some of the first series of this one a long time ago. I've got to sit normally because if I don't I'm going to be in deep pain by the time this video is over. And it's a show called Desmond's. A uh, cool series and uh, yeah that is the uh, I'm pretty sure that's the guy from uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Uh, yeah that is Dominic Keating. Looking much wackier. Next up is I saw both of these movies in theater actually when I was young enough and hormonal enough to really enjoy these movies for they were uh, National Influence Vacation and National Influence European Vacation. Like every kid that grew up in the eighties, adored Chevy Chase. What did I adore even more? I adored Beverly D'Angelo and that shower scene. 
from National, <laughs> National Employees Vacation. We all did. Thank you, Beverly D'Angelo. Thank you very much. Canadian action cop movie. Bond cop, bad cop. If you, if you don't know the movie, you really should. It's a really, really fun movie. This is a two-disc edition. Got some cool stuff on it. Music video. I started collecting these, but I never really get many of them. I do, if because they don't show up very much. But uh, whenever we see one, my me and my better half will always pick it up. And it's these uh, 20th Century Fox. They kind of like their numbered editions, uh, collector's editions. This is Predator. And it's a two-disc edition. A lot of features on it. Very cool stuff. Here's a, a Vista series. I like the Vista series. They're really well done. And it's a Tombstone, the director's cut. Big fan of this movie, actually. I'm a big fan of westerns, but uh, they don't make a lot of really good westerns nowadays, unfortunately. Speaking of westerns, there's another one on our Artisan DVD special edition. I actually have the poster for this one. And uh, so I love the soundtrack. Young Guns. Uh, Young Guns is just a really cool movie. Got Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, Lou Diamond Phillips, Charlie Sheen, Dermot Maroney, Casey Sa Samesico. Samesico? Casey Summer. It opens up like this so you can see the epicness of the westernness. And look for John Bon Jovi in like a little cameo. This one is all about Steve. Apparently, it stars Sandra Bullock and a guy that my better half thinks is really cute, Bradley Cooper. Well, a lot of people think Bradley Cooper's really cute. So we bought this movie. I don't know if she's ever watched it, but she wanted to see Bradley Cooper. And uh, considering how many movies I have with that I get because the girl's cute and stuff like that, she can have whatever she wants. And if she can have whatever she wants anyway, she just tell me. <laughs> I'm getting that. Bridget Jones. The Edge of Reason. Is that the second one or the first one? Second one, okay. Uh, very, uh, actually it's not a bad film. Uh, my, this is my better half. she got it before me. It's one of the, uh, I, I would like to say chick flicks, but guys watch these too. Let's be honest here. Um, but she did the thing of buying the full screen edition. But uh, she's a big fan of, she's a big fan of Colin Firth. Is it Colin Firth? Yeah, because he did like a lot of the, uh, British Jane Austen things back in the day. It's what he's known for. Here's another one we got that uh, we've seen, but I don't think we watched it in a while. Like Water for Chocolate. Uh, this, of course, you know. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it, it is a beautiful movie. It's a beautifully shot film. It's so sad. And, uh, yeah, but it's, it's it. Mm. This one, you can't buy. It was pretty much a dubbed to me from a uh, from my uh, I think from my dad we like got it from a like somewhere like one of those places where you send away get movies that aren't out on DVD or anyway it's called Dark Intruder uh, just a really cool film uh, it's got Leslie Nielsen Peter Mark Richman uh, it was a favorite of mine actually uh, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, TV film that was done but it never came out never brought out I had one edition of this, but I wanted to upgrade to the two disc edition. We were, I think, we we're in like Grand Falls or Windsor, something like Grand Falls, Windsor, something like that. And we're into like uh, one of those stores, like Rossi's. And I went in and I saw this one. And this one had the pilot of the TV uh, episode. Uh, so, uh, LA Confidential, a fantastic film noir, really great film. Really love this movie. Uh, I mean, Kim Bassinger is pretty much like she is harnessing Veronica Lake in this film. And uh, it has the pilot for a TV series. It actually starts Kiefer Sutherland for uh, LA Confidential. It was really good, and I really wish it would became a series. But I did 24 instead. Spy Game. Robert Redford, Brad Pitt. It was shot in Casablanca. Was it? Yeah. Shot in Casablanca. I love Casablanca. I better half his born there. Uh, this is another one that gives me my dad, because uh, he knows I have the regional free player. Full Metal Jacket, because he knows I'm a Kubrick fan. Uh, I gotta get the real, the cool, like, Blu ray edition. I gotta get the Kubrick set down the road. Because we both love Tim Burton. Uh, this is the one my better half got before me, and this is how, like, much I guess we are like in some ways. I We both actually really like this film. Mars Attacks. 
amazing. Uh, just a really fun film. And Tom Jones. Yeah. Gotta show love Tom Jones. Kubrick. Lolita. This is one of his masterpieces, and it does not get the credit that a lot of his other films, like 2001, or even Barry Lyndon gets. But you know what? Lolita is an amazing film. And uh, with that, yeah, there's more. We'll show these films with pride, even if they uh, aren't movies that uh, I'm really proud of. I'm joking. I'm actually really proud of all my films. There are some girly films too. too. Actually, the girly films, I'll be honest. If you see any really girly films, a lot of the times they're actually mine. I'm a guy that likes Mean Girls, and I make no bones about that. Mean Girls is a pretty good film, and so is Pitch Perfect. Watch Pitch Perfect. Surviving the Holidays with Lewis Black. I like Lewis Black. Uh, it's a History Channel one, so I had to pick it up. Got it for like a buck. Have I seen it yet? No. Am I going to watch it this not next Christmas? Yes. I was so excited to get this movie. It's one that I watched over and over again when I was young. And it's called Blame It on Real. And it uh, stars uh, Michael Caine. I think it's Timmy Morrison. But, oh, man, Michelle Johnson. I was so in love with Michelle Johnson. Every boy in the 80s was in love with Michelle Johnson. She's just so beautiful and she does the role so well. Uh, the, the Menstic Screen, Kill. Pronounce that. Bullshit. Bull anyway, I heard this is really good, really funny. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I'm going to watch it soon. Being a big fan of. Uh, Shadow of Owls, like Tall Tales, and like her uh, fairy tale theater. I love to have the whole fairy tale theater one. It's amazing stuff. She does really great stuff with that. This is Tall Tales and Legends. It was kind of a follow up series. And uh, there's like four in this one. You know, Darren Clementine, Ponce de Leon, John Henry, and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And who does not want to watch uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow with Ed Bagley Jr. and uh, Tim Thomerson? Trancers. One of my better halves. Uh, very fun film, actually. Uh, Bride and Prejudice. It's a Bollywood type film. And uh, we we loved the Bollywood. This one is definitely hands. We had, we wanted to upgrade this one to Blu ray. And, uh. Is there anything there? Yeah, there's actually in there. So we did. Uh, if you watch my recent videos, you know that we got the big set of it. So, uh. Batman Begins. We know this is in DVDs because literally on a blue. On a Yellow piece of paper it says Hens DVD. Why is that on there? Because I think I lent it to someone and they put that it was mine so that they would return it. Ah, see, that's the way you should, somebody should like do the thing so they know to return your movies. Uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, we <laughs> bought this. It's a horrible, horrible movie. This is basically, you know why people watch this movie? See Jessica Elba in a tight outfit. Uh, that's got to be the only reason to watch this film. And there's, she's been like in tighter outfits and less clothing, so. You really don't need to watch this film. But with the new Fantastic Four movie coming out, that's going to look like a masterpiece. Just saying. I've heard some really bad stuff in the new Fantastic Four movie. Um, one of my better halves series is Blade. She loves these movies. Blade and, of course, Blade 2. Both very, very cool films. There's Blade 3. I'm not sure if we got it here. Maybe we do. We probably do. Oh, this one was actually sent to me. And uh, very cool, uh, Atomic Age Cinema 2, Atomic Boogaloo, so yeah, who can't, like, just have fun with something like that. And the movie that they're watching in this one is one of those, like, uh, is the Undertaker and his pals, so, fun stuff. This is one that's a favorite of mine, uh, my better half likes it, and it's a favorite of my son's, a really big one. We love music, and musicals, I, I, me especially, and Across the Universe was really well done, it just really... Did the Beatles music so well? To this condition. I remember when I mentioned the history of violence, kind of like, well, there's David Cronenberg's history of violence. So, yeah, we have that one as well. What? It is amazing. I love it. It's uh, based on a uh, graphic novel. It's, so, that's one of those comic book movies that people don't realize is a comic book movie. Kind of like uh, Road to Perdition. 
Another comic book movie that nobody realizes is a comic book movie. Unless you're a comic geek like we are. Um, Ultimate Edition of Legend. This is an incredible film. I love this movie. Tim Curry does a great job in this. And uh, this apparently is a hard edition to find nowadays. So uh, I'm going to hold on to it. The deluxe edition of this one that I really, really wanted. I saw the sequel. i got to get sequel on the road. It's a movie called The Getaway with Stephen Queen. Uh, it's my Sam Peckinpah. Great film. If you wanted to see how much I like cheesy movies, it's a double feature for you. A double feature of awesome cheesiness. It's got good on it. It definitely does. The Kidnapping of the President starring William Shatner and Hal Holbrook and Death Row Game Show. I, yes, I, I really did buy this for Death Row Game Show, which I really wanted. And it's widescreen and everything. Uh, what company put this out? What company put this out? BCI. Back in the BCI days when there was a BCI. Oh, Lucky Man by Mel McDowell. Great film. If you haven't seen it, really, really check it out. It's, a, it's one of his awesome ones. This is one that I found for my better half. It's one of her favorites. And the song's fantastic in it. All the songs are fantastic in this one here. Because David Bowie did them. And David Bowie rocks. Absolute beginners. For all you Christopher Nolan fans, quick, before I tell you what this movie is, do we know what this film is? Yeah, you probably do. It's a memento. It's like a neat edition of it. We, uh, we dig the Nolan. We're getting there. Dark City, one of my favorite science fiction films of all time, to be honest with you. I really do love this film. Is that on Blu-ray? No, we don't have the Blu-ray. We need this one on Blu-ray. This one really something to upgrade to Blu-ray. The commentary by Roger Ebert is amazing on this. This was, I think, the first movie they did a commentary for. Roger Ebert usually refuses to do commentaries. unless it's something that he was personally involved in, but he really liked that movie that much. Um, <coughs> classic film, an Anchor Bay one. Uh, just a really great movie. I really liked this. Bob Hoskins, Helen Mirren, very young Helen Mirren, actually. Uh, Pierce Brosnan, I think, is in this film as well. The Long Good Friday. It's a really good film. Next up is one that made me cry because uh, I went to get it and I thought it was the uh, got a feedback. The guy's really nice about it. I thought it was the edition from, well, from it was Criterion. Sold as a Criterion. As a Criterion. So it's a uh, not not a Criterion. It's actually an, a, the Japanese edition of the film. Chinese. Chinese, really? Yeah. Okay. Korea. Want to pronounce this one, darling? Uh, uh, Korea Cuervos. Cuervos. See, she, she gets that done. So nice. My only, and I only got this one by going into a Nintendo World store when they had some DVDs, and this one just stuck out because it just looked so different. And it's uh, Teenage Hitchhikers. It's actually a Code Red release. I mean, I can't believe I found a Code Red release for less than $5 on the store. Code Red are expensive to buy. And I don't think this one's available. Is this one available now, guys? Uh, if you know Code Red, they're a company that, uh, Said a lot of really cool stuff, and they're usually expensive to get after a while. Uh, Office Space. I think my better half bought this one before me, but Office Space is one of my favorite comedies. I just really dig it. It's one that I have always. Uh, I worked in a lot of offices. So I yeah, I've lived that. Get Smart again. I'm a I'm a big Don Adams Smart. Get Smart fan. I like Maxwell Smart, and uh, who doesn't love Barbara Feldman? It's Barbara film. It's 99. Sexiest place in the world. Ah. Et tu maman tant bien. I got a... There's a criterion on this, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely one of the I hope they do a set. Uh, this is Quran. Alfonso Quran got the gravity. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so if you're seeing Gravity, this is better. Uh, it is better. I'm saying that. I haven't seen it. Uh, Revenge of the Ninja. If you have not seen this movie, you must see this movie. There was Enter the Ninja, which, of course, uh, starred... Uh, who was that again? Franco Nero. Franco Nero? Um, this is a sequel that was actually much better than the original. Revenge of the Ninja. They did Ninja 3, The Domination. But this is the most awesome one. Riddick Trilogy. My better half keeps asking me, do we have the Riddick films? Yes, honey, we have the Riddick films. 
Oh. We do have the upgrade to Blu-ray though. It's really cheap to get this on Blu-ray. Uh, here's a kind of a harsh film, uh, but a really good one. Uh, great acting. Gene Hackman. Amazing stuff. Uh, Night Moves. Really, really good film. I'm a big fan of this comedian. This has uh, two concerts in one, actually. And it's uh, Dennis Leary, the complete Dennis Leary. He's got uh, No Cure for Cancer, or, uh, Lock and Load. I'm pretty sure it probably has the, uh, the music video Asshole on here as well, which he's famous for. Clerks 2, I really dug this film. I love the musical number that kind of just breaks out in the middle of it. Uh, cool stuff. Taylor Panama, good film. Pierce Brosnan and Jeffrey Rush. I like Jeffrey Rush. I like, and I love Pierce Brosnan. And Rent Steel is my favorite shows of all time. Scanner Darkly is one of my better half bot. Uh, you know, based on Philip K. Dick one. It's, it's Richard Linkletter and uh, can't go wrong with Linkletter. Every time I see the cover to this thing, I want to start singing Say a Little Prayer. My Best Friend's Wedding. Uh, Rupert Everett's the best part of this film, by far. I'm a big fan of the old classic films. When I was growing up, I used to watch like a lot of the movies came out on Saturdays and Sundays and, and late night stuff. And we get a, see a lot of these movies. And it's uh, Blondie. So uh, five features. Really cool. I think it's all on one disc. Echo Bridge, so they probably get all show them on one disc. But yeah, I love to see a really good edition of the Blondie movies. Lost in Translation. It's not bad. That's Bill Murray, Scar Johansson. It's overrated, but uh, I did enjoy the film. The Ultimate Edition, and we would have get, later get the Blu-ray edition. I'm sure there's going to be another edition to come out. My better half will buy because she's a really big fan of this. Stargate. It's really cool stuff. Uh, the Pretender. Actually, I'm a huge Pretender fan. This is the movie edition. This is the the movies. That, these two movies that they did after the Pretender series ended. Neither one of them actually clued up anything that was going on in the series. So, you know. Dorian Gray, we bought this one because it, it was cheap and the cover looked nice. And Colin Firth was in it. She likes Colin Firth. <laughs> you still watched it? Yep. There's more. Uh, next up is Meet the Feebles, Peter Jackson. Yes, I actually got this from a Substance Video. Uh, pretty bare bones one. Is it, wait, no, it has features, it has scene access. All regions, too. Meet the Feebles is an amazing Peter Jackson film. If you haven't seen it, it's completely bent, warped, twisted, but it's a must see. Have you seen Meet the Feebles? Yeah. Better than Lord of the Rings. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, when Canadian Tire used to have a big lot of movies, my better half and me, we were even really going out together at the time, actually. We were just like walking around, and uh, we're up there, and she bought this one. And it is so much awesomeness. There's so much awesomeness in the movie. Amazons versus Superman. Really, if you ever get a chance to see this movie, oh, oh man, you, you, you just, just, just go see it. I got this one for really cheap at a Piper's outlet, and it's uh, coffee and cigarettes. Uh, Jim Jarmusch, great uh, cast, and I love Jim Jarmusch. I uh, really got to get his Criterion's. His movies are so personal. A million dollars a breast. Swordfish. Uh, she got it for you, Jackman. I got it for the million dollars of breast. See how you can get a perfect synchronicity there. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. It's a classic comedy. Before we bought the giant ass box set that breaks my back every time I move it, we got Harry Potter. This one, well, she got this one before me, back when she did not know that full screen was not a good thing. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, uh, well, this is one we can probably. Well, things that we yeah, we gotta weed some of this stuff out. I uh, looked at stuff we already got like doubles and triples of. Knight's Tale. This is really good. It's really fun. And the soundtrack, you gotta love it. Dodgeball. Because nobody makes me bleed my own blood. This is an awesome film. And it's really fun. Vince Vaughn. 
Ben Stiller. How can you not go? How can you go wrong with Vince Vaughn? I am not a fan of Ben Stiller. Oh. Or Vince Vaughn. Oh. A lot of people weren't a fan of Vince Vaughn after he did Psycho, but still, come on, give him credit. He's done some really good stuff. He's money, baby. Bridget Jones' Diary. This one isn't full screen. It's in a really cool edition, and we would definitely be keeping this one. Uh, collector Series. Uh, Alliance DVD. Love the way this is done. This is a favorite of my better halves, and I teased her about it, even before I saw it. It's done as a fairy tale, kind of like for his daughter, I think, of his daughter, right? So people really rag on it. But uh, it's a very beautiful film. Um, it's Lady in the Water. This is a film that you really have to take, take it for what it is, or you're not going to get it. This movie was so amazing that it actually won. Does this one won Trailer of the Year or something like that? <laughs> yes, Trailer of the Year. I think there used to be a big stick right now. Mega Shark versus Octopus. Because uh, we're fans of those, though, like Hercules, Alibaba type films. You got this uh, set here, uh, Clash of the Olympians. There's no movie on it called Clash of the Olympians, but. Uh, my legs are falling asleep. Hopefully you're not. Hunter, the complete first and second season. Because uh, it works for me. I hope you got the reference. If you haven't, then you haven't seen Hunter. And I'm sorry, but watch it. It's a really good show. What was Hunter originally? It was originally titled Dirty Har Harry, the series. But they changed it. Oh, oh that... Something in this next one here is going to make a certain movie cave Dave very happy when we get to it. I have the 1989 mystery movie collection of Columbo. I hope that this is the one that I, I bought this one because I really, really wanted one that had uh, some soap opera stars in it. Uh, Deidre Hall. I think that's the one. That's complete sixth and seventh season of Columbo. Got Jamie Lee Curtis in this one, William Shatner, Kim Cattrall. Who doesn't love Columbo? Wise Guy, the first season, uh, first season, yeah, was broke up into two actual story arcs. Uh, both are amazing. I like this Sunny Steelgrave story arc the best with, uh, of course, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey is amazing. And, uh, no, he's in the second one, Mel Prophet. Who does Sunny Steelgrave? Oh, Ray Sharkey, okay. Yeah. The second story with Kevin Spacey, just incredible. They're both great, but, uh, I love Wise Guy. When it started, it was a really, really well done show. My Hammer, Private Eye, love this show. Uh, Mickey Splane, I love Mickey Splane. St Stacy Keach, and that makes them fun nowadays. Cobra, the complete series. Because Michael Dudikoff. Booker, I was so excited to get this. I came home, I was going to watch like this. I was like, I was like, Booker, how come this doesn't say? Because it says Collector Edition, not Complete Series. I was like, oh, maybe there's an episode or two missing. It has like, remember Scaharity from SVU was in it. I you know, turned on. And I put in the first episode. I'm like, oh, the music's not quite the same. Maybe it's because it's the pilot. So I went in like three episodes in. And I got ready. Because the, the, the theme music for this is Billy Idol's Hot in the City. Which is a really kind of like high adrenaline type of song. Really kind of pumps you up for the show. And YouTube it. It's really, really bad music that's on there. And it's not Hot in the City. The Bourne Files. Three disc collection with the Bourne Identity and the Bourne Supremacy. I heard they're doing a sequel to the Jeremy Renner porn film. Yeah. Movie Cave Dave, these are for you. Uh, well, no, they're not for you. These are ones that I think you're going to enjoy. Yeah. This is the Doom Steelbook. Love this. And look, it cost me all of $3.99. Yes, even though I do have the three disc set, we both agreed that this was a cool movie to pick up on Steelbook. Look at this awesome Steelbook. Starship 3 Marauders. Starship 3. What did I say? Starship 3? <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm in it's like 50 minutes in this video. So. <laughs> Starship Troopers 3 and Rounders. And of course, like I said before, I have a few editions of this movie here. Uh, this is probably the best one. Boondock Saints, Steelbook Edition, who uh, doesn't love that movie. Now, I have a few more to go. Yeah, I know. So, what I'm going to do before I go on. So I'm going to move some of the stuff. 
over here so that I can actually keep doing this without weebling and wobbling and falling over. That better half is going to sleep. Hopefully you're not. Uh, Pulp Fiction, I have the uh, Blu-ray of this one, but it's just a collector's edition DVD that I would definitely not get rid of because it's sexy looking. Sexy. Unbreakable. I actually think this may just be a little bit better than Sixth Sense. Uh, Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson. It's a very cool superhero film by M. Night Shyamalan before he got uh, went all crazy and made movies like Avatar. And uh, I like the Avatar animated series, actually. I like that, that anime. So uh, I may have to find M. Night Shyamalan, I'm a ding dong, and uh, just get him for that one. Because I really like the Avatar. Not the movie, but the series. Ricky Gervais, Animals. Uh, it's given me my dad. I really like Ricky Gervais. Stand up, my dad knew that. Almost Famous, another movie I really liked. Uh, did I have to. There was supposed to be a third disc, like a CD in this, of uh, music by uh, the group, uh, Stillwater. But uh, unfortunately, it's not here. But uh, I do have DVD, disc one and two, almost famous. I got this one. I got my better half, the uh, complete series for uh, Christmas one year. So I had to pick up this one here, Firescape, the Peacekeeper Wars. Uh, Firescape, really, really watch this. Really, really good. I think this one may be harder to get now because, well... Uh, sad stuff happened. It's kind of a hard documentary to watch at times, but it's uh, especially because of what happened. It has some great, great wrestling thing. Uh, though. Uh, hard Knocks, Chris Benoit story. Desperado, really do like that movie, uh, though I do like I like the El Mariachi much more. I'm a huge Cynthia Rothrock fan. Unfortunately, this is the only Cynthia Rothrock movie I think I've ever found on DVD anywhere. Uh, Channel Brian. That's a good one, too. Is this one of the ones where she uh, gets beaten up or raped and has to come back and get revenge oh. or something all like that. no not all like that Cynthia Rothrock she's very different uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective when Nature Calls and a, a third disc which has uh, episodes of the animated series as well so we got like some uh, how many episodes do you have this it's not a very good animated series by the way uh, three uh, but you know Ace Ventura Pet Detective is actually a really good movie Ace Ventura when Nature Calls is a movie not a really good one though Monty Python's The Meaning of Life 2 Disc Edition. I do like this film. There are certain things. I think that's a hit or miss film for Monty Python. It's one of their best. Uh, I don't like that uh, eating gets bigger, you know, exploding guy type thing. Okay, the next couple of films here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this for later because these are special for me. Great Lover. Bob Hope co Film Collection. I really like Bob Hope. I'm a big fan of TNA wrestling, and uh, they're, especially the early years. They put up this one. I wish you would have done one for each year, but this is TNA, History of TNA Year One. And uh, as far as I know, they only did Year One. Uh, some great matches on here as well as an amazing documentary, so I definitely worth checking out, guys. Everybody should have this movie in their collection. It is just an amazing film. It is Oscar Academy win. It is Roadhouse. You got to own Roadhouse. And it's got a great commentary on here, too, by uh, Kevin Smith and Scott Mosher. So if you're ever listening to any Smodcasts, you might want to check out that Rotos commentary. Uh, this is a favorite of my better halves, actually. Kung Fu Hustle. Fun little film. Because I have 80s running through my blood. I'm an 80s guy through and through. Don Johnson's Dead Bang. Yes, this is a movie that is so, so amazing. I think, uh, I think this is the one that... Uh, Ron Jeremy did like a, a special like effects or something like it. Did something for it anyway. I got this and I was so happy to find this. It's kind of like 99 cents and uh, it's Star Wars New Hope. And uh, it is the only way that you can get the actual original Star Wars unedited. It's got the actual 1977 theatrical version of Star Wars here. Next up is an 80s collection that I really did enjoy, Hard Bodies, because I'm male and I grew up in the 80s and these were the type of films that we watched. On this note, good night. <laughs> Being a 
proud Canadian. This is one of my favorite Canadian groups of all time. Uh, can you turn off the heat there? Because it's getting really hot. I'm going to melt like butter. Uh, Wayne and Schuster, 50 Years of Comedy. I really love Wayne Schuster. If you are a fan of Wayne Schuster, or if you know who Wayne and Schuster are, say so down below. You win extra kudos, special bonus points from me for knowing that. Dune, the, uh, although I do love the movie edition of Dune, this really is the uh, director's cut, uh, the best version of Dune. It's the TV show. Yeah, well, it's a TV movie. Yeah. Mini series. And it's much better. Yeah, but the movie was good. It was cheesy, it was fun. Yes, yeah, but. Uh, Children of Dune, uh, sequel also great as Kriegs in this one. James McAvoy. Yeah, yeah, Mac is on the cover, of course. James McAvoy. It's one of her favorites. Sadly, this is the only season I have of this series. Uh, this is a great series that I really like. Uh, watch this like crazy. Friday 13th series. Really cool. Here's a movie that I had when I, when I first started collecting DVDs and uh, was lucky enough to find it again years later. And it's uh, Naked Killer. It's one that I really did enjoy. It's been a long time since I've seen this one, but uh, I really remember loving that movie. Flash Gordon, everybody, it, you, Alex Rosk, all right. Anybody with a soul has got to love Flash Gordon. It's just an amazing film. I had the one disc edition of this. I accidentally bought that one by mistake. And then I saw this one for a buck at a uh, guy was selling. It wasn't even open. It was like, you got the original sticker price. 30 bucks was this thing originally cost. Uh, Warzone, Punisher. Uh, I, I really do dig this one. There's like a lot of parkour. Uh, Ray Stevens is really good in this. The uh, It's got a lot of features on here as well. So uh, i got to crack that open. I got the other one already opened, but i got to crack that open to see the features. Uh, Storm Warning. I'm a big fan of Jamie Blanks. Jamie Blanks at Urban Legend, by the way, and he also did a movie called Valentine, which is a real throwback to 80s slasher films that people don't give enough credit to. <clears throat> Death Foretold. Yeah. Stir of Echoes. I just love this slipcover. So cool. So cool. We are almost done. Empire Strikes Back, and yet again, yes, it is that uh, two disc edition that has the original, uncensored, unedited 1980 edition of Empire Strikes Back. Ocean's Eleven, the one I did like. Attack the 50 Foot Woman, definitely my movie, fun, cheesy film. Actually, it's directed by Christopher Guest, who uh, directed a lot of really good movies. Someone Like You, uh... Hugh Jackman, so I know that my better half by that one because she, she loves Hugh Jackman. And he's a cool guy, so why not? Uh, Sunny Chiba collection, that's me. I'm a huge Sunny Chiba fan. It's got G.I. Samurai, Ninja Wars, Legend of Eight Samurai, and Resurrection of Golden Wolf. You can bet that I'm like all over these films. I love these type of movies. Uh, my uh, son's girlfriend actually uh, got this one for us because uh, she knew that my better half like Peter Jackson. It was really sweet of her to uh, give this one. Her na uh, name is Jenny, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, my son today lost his uh, lost his pet rat, uh, Wesley. Uh, he had a, he's got two rats and one of them passed away today. So, uh, shout out to him. Uh, it's, it's, hard, it's a hard time for him right now. When you lose a pet, your first pet especially. So, um, deluxe to the collector's edition of King Kong. Oh, wait a second. Before I go any further. I was asked, do I have Rawhead Rex or have I seen it? I have. N I do not have Rawhead Rex. It's a really hard movie to find. But I do love Rawhead Rex. Anything Clive Barker, I love. It's probably the only Clive Barker like adaption thing I don't have. Although Clive Barker may not be a fan of it, I am. I really do like it. I thought it was really cool. 
Uh, Van Damme, Hard Target, just really dug this movie. Immortal, uh, I think we saw it, but I really don't remember very well. This is the one I got because I like this type of uh, kind of like true story, like TV movies. Take My Vice, the uh, Anne and Abby story, Anne Landers, and of course, Dear Abby, they were sisters, twin sisters that uh, didn't get along. In the Loop, and yes, that is uh, In the Loop with Peter Capaldi. It's the movie of the TV series. Uh, God, was in the series again? Don't say in there. Think of it or something like that. Yeah, think of it. Uh, Matador, because, you know, Pierce Brosnan and no. all. Casanova, my better half, because she's a real big fan of Heath Ledger. Uh, complete and uncut for the first time on DVD. Bad Boys. I saw this movie in theater. I loved it. And uh, I'm a big Sean Penn fan. Uh, well, from back in the day, Clint Brown. This is a really good movie. Anchor Bay, of course. Spider-Man 2. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Which we saw and we got like it for five ninety nine. So, you know. X-Men Last Stand. X2. My favorite of the original X-Men trilogy. X-Men. X-Falls, I want to believe. Mary Tyler Moore Show, season, first season, which is really cool, I love the show. Uh, love Boat, season two, volume two, I'll find that one for like two bucks in a uh, charity shop. Clerks, my uh, better half actually lent this one out to someone and that uh, left the country and that, that, uh, when she was first started, before she, before she even knew me, I think. So when she got it back, Clerks was in it, but uh, the other two discs weren't. So uh, she is without Clerks, the second and third awesome discs. So the first cut and the uh, snowball effect disturbed Clerks, which is what I really wanted to see. So I was like, got this one out when I was going to watch it. I got really excited. And uh, I wanted to see the uh, third disc again. Son of a bitch. You know, it happens. Chocolate. Oh, uh, this is a really good, like, uh, Film really seriously check this out. It's really cool action, really well done. Beyond the Professional, uh, one of it's a favorite of mine. Uh, Luke Besson, I love Luke Besson. Uh, of course, this is early Natalie Port Portman. Of course, she did that awesome rap. Uh, the Sure Thing, an 80s film that I really like. I really like John Cusack. He does some great stuff. There's a commentary track I've never listened to on this one. Uh, of course, uh, I like Shannon's Cunningham and Friday the 13th. So why not like Spring Break? Yes, Spring Break. I do like these movies. Ten Things That I Hate About You. Uh, Shakespeare. Uh, but uh, I better have Love's Heath Ledger. Love's Heath Ledger and stuff. So. And for me, because I like Jackie Chan a lot. Jackie Chan's New Police Story. And at one hour and three minutes, we are finished with the Unseen Collection. So there's more coming up. That is not even all the Unseen Collection. That is part one. If you want me to keep doing these videos, I'll keep on going as long as there's people watching the videos. I'll keep showing more and more of my collection so that you can see some of the stuff that I got here. Hopefully, got some entertainment and fun out of this here. I did. I enjoyed it. And uh, have a great night. For me right now, it's time for tea as soon as I uh, finish up my water because my throat is going. And good Lord, I have to put back all these movies. So, talk to you later, guys. Have a great one. And, uh... By the way, yes, the, the giant lobster head is watching me.